Master Learning Bite, short bites of information you can apply immediately. How do you know that you're excited to see somebody? How do they know that you're excited to see them? My guess is that it shows in your body language. You'd have a smile, your eyes will light up, you'll be delighted to see them. How delighted are you to see your customers? How delighted are you when you're at work and the phone rings and there's an incredibly high chance it's a customer? Do you jump up on the phone and go, oh, hi, you know, you're excited that they've got a customer there? Or do you fall into a large majority of people where you're busy working away, beaving away, and the phone rings and you growl at the phone and go, oh, interruption. And you pick up the phone and everything in your voice says, I'm being interrupted. Do you delight in having customers? Is it a culture that permeates your organization? Can I see how much you value me as a customer in the very body language that you display? And remember, body language can be picked up over the phone. How often have you heard a smile? Tink. People, you can hear smiles when people are on the phone. You can hear that they're happy to be talking to you. Oh, you can also hear when people are distracted, working on something else, or well, they're kind of talking to you, but they're also reading the screen over here. And How do you treat your customers? A little story that really emphasizes the point for me. Some time back, I was fortunate to go and see Steve Lang from Tony's Tire Services give a talk. And he talked about how he had created a culture within Tony's Tire Services where every single employee was to show the customer that they were the most important person. He had up on his wall, the customer is always right. We run this company on two rules. Rule number one, the customer is always right. Rule number two, when the customer is wrong, refer to rule number one. But they didn't just have it on the wall, they believed it. When somebody pulled into their, uh, it pu pulled up into Tony Science Services, one or sometimes even two people would jog out to the car with a smile on their face. And they'd be delighted to see the customer. If you called into Tony's Tire Services, they would say something along the lines of, Welcome to another excellent day at Tony's Tire Services. They were a company that you enjoyed dealing with. And they would never say to you, if you said to them, How are you? They weren't good. If they ever heard they were saying good, they were taken around the back and got to do 20 push ups on the spot in the workshop. Because at Tony's Tire Services, they were exceptional, they were great, they were fantastic. Because that kind of attitude is contagious. They had a Tosser Award, and the Tosser Award stood for Totally Outrageous Sales, Service, Excellence and Relationships. But here's the thing, people wanted to win that every week. Do you have something that gets people excited about wanting to delight the customer, about being totally outrageous, about having sales and service excellence that is outstanding, that builds relationships? that gets referrals, that gets repeat business. Take a moment and sit down and honestly audit your company and see what you can put in place. Maybe you need a tosser award. Here's to your success.